हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम और वेलकम बैक टू माई चैनल सो टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अन अदर प्रॉब्लम बट बिफोर गोइंग फॉरवर्ड इफ यू नॉट लाइक द वीडियो प्लीज लाइक इट सब्सक्राइब टू माई चैनल एंड हिट द बेल आइकन सो दैट यू गेट नोटिफाइड वेन एवर पोस्ट न्यू वीडियो सो विदाउट एनी फर्दर ड्यू लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड प्रॉब्लम इज रोटेट लिस्ट विल बी गिवन हेड ऑफ द लिंक लिस्ट एंड वी नीड टू रोटेट द लिस्ट टू द राइट बाय के प्लेसेस सो इट्स वेरी इजी प्रॉब्लम राइट लेट्स सी वर्ट द प्रॉब्लम इज Uh, see this linked list is given right we have to rotate the list to the right means to the right by k places uh, so let's take the linked list 1 2 3 4 and 5 this is the linked list given and k is given as 2 that is we have to rotate rotate this linked list to right by how many places k places right what does this mean this means see right is this direction first you have to move by k places so if we move one time what it will become five all these nodes will shift to the right so this five will go in the starting because here there is nothing so then one will shift to this position like they are shifting by one place to the right we are rotating it 3 uh, so here it will be 2 3 will come here and 4 will go at place of 5 something like this will happen so we are rotating it as in like this is something like this is going on now this was one time now we have to do uh, we have to do two times right k is equal to 2 two places we have only done one by one place so what will happen and if we do second uh, one one place again so four will go in the starting five will come here and one two three will be like this so this will be the final link final link list now see guys when you are given link list problem right how you have to approach it you have to see what is your current link list and what is your final link list right you have to analyze like how we are modifying the linked list what is happening basically k value is given as 2 we have to rotate by k places so what is basically happening just compare this linked list and this linked list uh, 1 2 3 is here and 4 5 this thing is here so what you can just pause the video and analyze and think how you can make this this linked list from this linked list So see guys, what we will do. If you notice here, this four five, this k is two, right? K is two. We are doing what we are doing is we are taking the last two nodes of the linked list. Last, you can say last k nodes, and those k no those k nodes we are attaching in the beginning. Then, and the rest of the string from the beginning will be afterwards. that simple so what we need to do is we need to get the last two nodes last k nodes bring them in the beginning because four will become the new head this will be the new head then and this five which was initially connected to null will now be connected to this head of the linked list which was earlier given this earlier head is this right so this five which was earlier pointing to null now will be pointing to the head of the linked list something like this we will make so let's see now i hope you got some idea let's see step by step how we will do this i will highly recommend just try to think yourself by uh, first how you can do it very easy problem it is so see 1 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 so what we need to do we need to do the previous two nodes bring them in the beginning and rest the of the linked list this rest of the linked list will be coming after 5 something like this so let's say let's see how we can do this first step what we will do uh first thing to what we need to do is we need to somehow get to this node right we need to get to this node so that we can get this four and uh, what we can do is 
we can bring it to the beginning fine so for that guys see in order to come here in order to come here we need to traverse these nodes so how we will know what is the index of this like what is the position of this four we will be calculating see we know the this is k is equal to 2 right this is k is equal to 2 we need to know how many nodes these will be so what will that be we will find the total length of the linked list total length of the linked list so total length is 1 2 3 4 5 5 then what we will do we will subtract this k from 5 that is 5 minus k k is 2 so 3 meaning this is you can take indexing from 0 1 2 3 like this also or you can take from 1 2 3 so basically what we will be doing is see guys let's let's see what the changes are first one thing is like when we are converting this when we are converting this from this fives fives next is changing if fives next was earlier null now fives next will be fives next will be what head this head one one is currently the head right so fives next will be head second thing that will change will be this three this three was earlier connected to this four but now like this three is next was four but after modification threes next will be null because that will it will become the end node threes next will be null other change will be the last change is the main change that earlier four was not the head of the linked list head of the linked list was one this after modification head of the linked list new head you can say new head of the linked list or let's say head of the linked list will be four so these three changes we have to do and we'll get our output fine so i hope you understood the basic approach how we will approach this problem how we have to think what we need to do we need to just check we need to compare the input and output now let's see step by step how we will do this uh, i will uh, refer the code also along with it so that uh, we can better understand along with code so we will dry run uh, four and we have five this is the link list which is given to us fine uh, i will be following these steps only these steps fine so uh, like all these three changes we just need to do and then we'll get the output so see it's very simple initially what i am doing is if head is null that is linked list is empty just return head empty, empty head that is this is the, just the edge case right uh, then uh, we are taking this length variable so let's take this length variable we'll be calculating length of the linked list length initially taking it one and then what we are doing we are taking these two uh, variables pointer variables this is a pointer variable right it will store the address so new head and tail new head and tail we are taking these two pointers both are initialized to head head is this right head is one so both has one like address of this one node now we are going till tails next uh, is not null we'll be going till that and every time we will be moving tail forward and length we will increase so basically we are calculating the length and we we want our tail pointer to come to this 5 why we want this tail pointer to come here because what was the first step we need to change 5's next to head so we need to know if this 5's address right pointer should be at 5 so that we can do 5's next and we can point it to head so what we will do is see we will start traversing so tail is initially here i'm like i'm doing this while loop over here like this while loop we are first doing so tail is here right and uh, condition is tails next 
should not be null so tails next is not null it's two so tail will go ahead Ta here also tails next is not null tail will go ahead tails next is not null it's four so tail will go ahead tails next is not null it's five tail will go ahead and here tails next this is five null is null right now here tail is at five and five's next is null here we will stop we will stop so our tail pointer is pointing to the last node of the link list this link list last node it is pointing so after that what we need to do we need to point this five's next to what to this one right head so this is the step they are uh, we are doing here tail fives like fives next tails next to head fine this thing is done so our first step like this step is done this one fives next we have changed it to this step is done now we will be focusing on the second step so see how we will do that in the second step what we need to do is we need to uh, we need to connect basically we need to uh, this three's next should be null right because now a three will become the ne uh, last node of the link list so see for that what we need to do we need to go till three right we need to go till three so that we can do three's uh, next as null right now three's next is what four so our motive is what our motive is to reach till this three so how we will reach this three this three we will we so over here now we will be also calculating the length of the link list when we are doing this while loop so length here will become five so now we need to reach to this three right we have the head so what we will do see So right now something is uh, our our link list is something like this. This five is connected to one. Now what we will do? Uh, we will again traverse. So see what we are doing. We have to over here. This is two, right? K is two. We need to reach this position, right? So how we will know the in, uh, position uh, or you can say index of this uh, node? total length of the link list minus k that is uh, you can say uh, length is 5 minus k is to 3 so this is 1 2 3 3 three position this node we need to reach here so that we can do three is next as null so that we are doing here a modulus is equal to length why we are doing this thing we will understand but basically here k modulus uh, length we will do so it will be k is equal to k modulus length that is k is what 2 modulus 5 so 2 only will come k fine you will we will discuss why we are taking modulus first so basically what we are doing now is we will be traversing to this position to this position from the starting that is we will be uh, we will have a while uh, we will have a loop and it will run len minus k times that is it will reach here so this is for loop we have len minus k and tail is equal to tails next right tail is equal to tails next currently tail is here tail is here right we initially tail was here like this tail is here so uh, we will go ahead uh, go ahead and we will reach here so tail will come here after this for loop so see guys now it's very simple tail is here what thing we need to do we need to do tails next as null that is three's next will become null so now this connection will be broken between 3 and 4 because three's next is now null and then we what we need to do this four is the new head so before see guys now before doing 3's next as null we need to store this 4 right otherwise if we do 3's next as null this connection will broken we will we will lose the address of 4 so what we will do before doing this thing we will be storing new in the new head variable in this new head we will be storing tails 
that is threes next which is four tails next so here new head will four that is new head we are storing tails next and then tails next we are doing null and th then we can just simply return new head fine i hope you understood this thing uh, let's see why we are doing this modulus so see guys here what we are doing here we are doing length minus k right we are going till length minus k what if in the question k is greater than length right now uh, this case which we saw in this k was 2 and length was 5 so k was less than 5 like 2 is less than 5 right but might happen that uh, let's say length is 2 but k is 5 in that case this length minus k thing length is what 2 minus k is 5 so this will give minus 3 so that will uh, like this calculation will get wrong because of that so why why we are in here we are doing k modulus is equal to length so that c k modulus uh, k is equal to so this thing right this thing means like this only k is equal to k mod length something like this fine uh, so we are doing k is equal to k modulus length so if k is 5 and length is 2 so we will get 1 fine so we will get k as 1 because see guys we have these two let's say we have 2 and 3 linked list rotating it 5 times k times we have to rotate na? rotating it 5 times is equivalent to rotating it 1 time only why because see I am rotating it 5 times. I rotate it 1 time. It is 3, 2. Again I rotate it. It is 2, 3. So. Fine. Now again. Like this is 1 time. This is 2 time. I uh, rotate it 3 time. Third time. So it will be 3, 2. And if I rotate it 4th time. It will be 2, 3. And when I rotate it for 5th time. We have to rotate k times. Na? 5. K is 5. So 5th time. It will. 3 will come here. And 2 will go there. So this 3, 2, 5th time is equivalent to rotating it one time only. Fine, because see guys, if k is equal to c, k is equal to length, k is equal equal to length, it means there will be nothing change, right? So this is why we are doing, because it might happen that k is greater than length. So for that case, we need to take modulus and that k value which will come is equivalent to the earlier value rotations. I hope you understood the problem and the approach. Uh, time complexity, see guys. Time complexity, how will you will uh, see for this problem? Extra space, we are not using anything. That is clear. So, uh, space complexity will be constant. And uh, for the traversal, right? What we are doing first? Initially, we are going till the length of the linked list. That is till the end. This value. And after that, we are going um, to the, like let's say, len minus k. So basically we can take uh, time complexity as O of n. That is the number of nodes in the linked list. For this while loop. This will also add but that uh, will be a smaller factor. So we can take this one only. I hope you understood the problem and the pros. Let me know in the comments if you have any doubt. If you found the video helpful please like it. Subscribe to my channel and I will see you in the next video.